Welcome back to Sunless Sea. In the last episode, I spent a long time checking out Nuncio here. And now it is finally time, after a very, very long time, it's finally time to go back to London. The entire reason I even came up here to the northeast, and even just the north, was just to find either Zoop or Muter Salt. It's been quite an epic journey that has kind of spiraled out into a bunch of other stuff. Mostly into pursuing the... What was his name? The Irrepressible Cannoneer? Yeah. I guess a lot of what I've done is just following up on his questline. But anyway, time to get back to London. I kind of need fuel. I also still need one of the trade goods. So I'm going to head to Mount Palmerston. And there I'm going to restock on fuel because I have very cheap fuel. I believe it costs 9 Echo. Whereas the standard price in London is 10. So nice and cheap. And I think they also had the Zoop. The profit margin was not too good on it, but it, at least it is a profit of some sort. So I'm just going to head up northeast to Mount Palmerston. If I find an alternative supplier of either Zoop or Muter Salt, that's better than Mount Palmerston. Somewhere in the darkness here, then I'll do that. But if I, got, if I get to Mount Palmerston and haven't found anything, then I'll just buy the Zoop. Let's go. And my terror is pretty damn high, even though I've been leaving my light on for the most part. I think it's just because I've spent so damn long out at Z. I've been out here a really long time. Ooh, look at that. Underwater spikies. Wreck of the Emperor Wolfgang. Oh, can I scavenge it? Whoa, there's music. Poor Cecil is some distance to the west. This place is kind of creepy. The music certainly doesn't help. Look at all the ships that have just crashed here. Holy crap. This place looks like a death trap. Oh god, what the hell is that? I want to know how many hit points it has. Alright, guess I'm not finding out just yet. Rumpled convolutions of coral fill the water, glimmering with silverly, silvery light. The harder you look, the more you see shapes amid the chaos, almost as if they were sculpted. This one could be a crenellated castle. That one, a horse's head. A neat little port huddles into the side of a coral island. Prosaic imperial docks and houses tucked away in a baroque organic chaos. In that curious silvery light, among the frozen chaos of coral, the scene has the unreal air of a pencil sketch, crumpled and discarded. I can play chess. Interesting. 100% chance of success. Nice. Explore, gather intelligence. <laughs> this is another place where I can put a Blemigan ashore. There was one other place where I could do the same thing. What the hell happens if you do that? It's like this game is obsessed with allowing you to just introduce foreign species to islands. Sell your Apossian chess piece. I don't have one, but that sounds really cool. Oh, I can gather Scintillac! That's the thing I need. I just need one Scintillac to continue the quest of my father's bones, which is the main... It's the main quest that I'm, that I'm doing. If I can retrieve my father's bones, that could be the end of the game. It's one of the possible ends. And thankfully, it uses my mirror's quality, which is by far my best quality. Still only a 61% chance, though. Hmm. Let's just do a port report, I suppose. Chess Dreams Silver Light. The older inhabitants of Port Cecil carry coral incrustations like a disease splotched with silvery light. They like to go up into the limestone heights behind the harbor, 
to lay their heads against the pillars and towers, stare at the roof of the neath, dream open-eyed. Sometimes they speak of things far away, the Canate's work, the smuggler's wars, the Fathom King's secrets. Perhaps it's not all invented. When it says the older inhabitants of Port Cecil carry coral incrustations like disease, like a disease, does that mean they literally have coral, like, on their skin? Like, they've been here so long, the coral is growing onto them? I mean, they just... Just stare up at the false stars, dreaming, and playing chess? Let's play some chess with them. Chess is popular in the principles. The board is full of exiles, drunks, and washed-up Z-traders. They all play, often obsessively. Be careful. The chess pieces are carved from Sintelac. Here in the principles, that can be very dangerous. Wait, why would that be dangerous? And what in the heck is Sintelac? Apparently it's something you can carve, so I guess it's quite thick. I just assumed it was like an herb or something. Apparently not. Eh, what the heck. Let's see what happens. One more game. You don't know how long you've been playing. You want a match. Another. The rough coral tips of the chess pieces are smeared with blood. Yours? Your opponent's? Eh? But you have begun to realize that your moves recapitulate the movements of the powers of the Neath. The flukes and their shapelings, the bazaar that lurks in London, Mount Nomad that prowls the sea, salt, stone, storm. With every move you take, the shape of it becomes clearer in your mind, sharper. Checkmate, you say. One more game. Your first officer is tugging at your arm. Ignore them. You have chess to play. Win enough games and something will occur. Uh... I like how open-ended it is. Something. Not something good, not something bad, not something interesting, not something boring. Just something. Anytime this game leaves anything up to my imagination, I just imagine the worst possible thing. Like, you play so many times that they get jealous of you and then they tie you up to a pole and burn you alive. You lose. That's what I'm imagining. Ooh, I gained a page. Yeah, so I do believe that increasing your page score, um, aside from being used for certain skill checks, I think? I think it's used for some skill checks. But I also believe it means you need less fragments to get your next level up. I think. So, getting one page, given that you start out with, I think, like 25, is actually quite good. Esoteric and occasionally practical knowledge increases the speed at which you convert fragments to secrets. Yeah, so you do get basically more levels. I mean, secrets aren't technically levels because they're really more of a resource than anything. But they're, yeah, they're kind of levels, sort of. And again, a secret. Ah, the more you play, the lower your chance of success. Is that because you're playing against maybe stronger opponents? 83% chance. And what the hell is this Sintelac? Like, the pieces were smeared with blood. Does that, does that mean they're really, really sharp? Alright, let's take a look at their shops. What do they have? That's it. Yeah, just overpriced supplies and fuel. Not gonna buy anything from here. Hmm. I kinda wanna just explore. But I really want the Sintelac because I need it for the quest. And if I explore, it's going to take up this, which means that I won't be able to gather Sintelac. But maybe if I keep playing chess, I'll get some Sintelac? Maybe? Huh, let's see. I guess I succeeded? I did. A disciplined success. 
Odd thoughts bubble up each time you touch a chess piece. This one longs for home. But that one has a secret desire for revenge against the slayer of its rank mate. This will be a queen one day. Those would do better as metal. You taste the metal. You ignore these thoughts. And move methodically to a victory over your opponent. He blinks. Checkmate? He asks helplessly. Hundred fragments. And another page. <laughs> now it's down to 43%. No thanks. I'm not much of a gambler. This is really good for getting secrets, though. And remember, if I can get 10 secrets, I can go back for the Judgment's Egg and continue the Irrepressible Cannoneer's quest. How many do I have? I have 8 secrets. If I can get 2 more, I'm good to go. But no, this is way too chancy. I'm not going to do it. I will gather Sintelec, though. And probably fail. Did I fail? I failed. Polypoid Whispers. It's against local law and custom to break coral from the reef. And you've seen the scars of those who tried. The acid burns. The blind silver eyes. So you're looking for a loose fragment. Or loose fragments, rather. Today the sea is calm, and you find a good few candidates. They lie shining softly like droplets of moon. But after a little while, you become concerned that there are eyes, that each is watching you. When you close your fist around one, it examines your blood with amused delight. When you put them together in your pocket, they clatter and gossip together. Of course, you think. They broke from the shining mind. They have its vitality, but not its weariness or experience. You will have to lock them into separate boxes, lest they peep at you when you're bathing and see who you are. The thoughts of their sight on your skin fills you with horror. What if your skin turned clear? What if they saw your bones? You come back to yourself when you see one of your zailers fall on his back and start kicking delightedly in the air like a beetle. Gravity, he cries. I have fallen. You hasten back to the ship with your hall of coral before it can do any further damage. <laughs> Wait, what? One of your zailers fall on his back and start kicking... Delightedly in the air like a beetle. Gravity, I have fallen. Wait. What? <laughs> I don't understand. Why is he delighted that he fell over? Okay. Well, apparently by failing, all I really did was gain one terror. Not too bad. Much better than going blind. Or getting acid burns. Okay, well, when I get back to London, I can continue the main quest. Cool. You know, I need to write a note for myself before I forget. Go to Aram. When I have ten secrets. Because I don't want to spend a single secret... I want to save them all up until I have ten, and then go get the Judgment's Egg and continue that quest. Okay, let's go. I do have enough fuel, right? To get to... No, oh, yeah, I've got plenty. I'm almost halfway there already. Oh, Jesus. 210. Khan's glory is a long way to the south. I could go down there. Nah. Oh, Jesus. I think that might be one of the weak boats. And I think it's following me. 80 hit points? 
Yeah, I can take him. Oh my god, look at how terrible their captain is. What an incompetent fool. Look at him just grinding up against that island. I don't even need to move. Truly a worthy foe. Two fuel, excellent. Makes me feel a lot more comfortable. I'm not going to take a stop at Gator's Morn, because I feel like every single time I do, I end up in a fight with some pirates. Not in the mood for that at the moment. I forgot how much terror it removes by killing enemies. It's really, really effective. If you can just find a bunch of pirate ships to chew through and maybe some crabs, then you're good to go. So I should already have a port report for this place. I do. Please send me through the place with the zoop. They are. Excellent. Get some cheap fuel. Get a lot of cheap fuel. Honestly, I might as well just buy as much as I can hold, really. Okay, well, let's see how much I can actually hold. So I need seven zoop. Right? Let me check my old notes. Uh... Yeah, 7 zoop, and the trader's gonna pay me 700 for that. Giving me a profit margin of, I believe, 210 echo, I think. There we go. And, yeah, I'm just gonna fill up the entire rest of my hold with fuel. Now, I could go up to the crater... Before I couldn't, because I used up, like, my day here. I used it up exploring the island or something. Which I'm not going to do, because every time I do that, I also get into a fight with pirates. But I could see if they admit visitors to the Brimstone Convention. Sure. Above the bay. Look down, and see Port Palmerston like a toy and the ruins like gravel. You've come far but the volcano's cone still rears above you. Rest a little before you go the last half mile. An occurrence. Your objective encounters with the wistful devilis. Quality is now one. You found a little cottage by the gate to the Brimstone Convention. You look kind of scary. Are you okay? Your, your eyes seem very, um, interesting. The wistful devilis. The road to the crater ends at a brass gate in the crater wall. Beside it stands an oddly charming little cottage. It's thrown together from pumice and basalt. But it features honeysuckle. An equally charming deviless in a tea gown leans against the cottage wall, twirling a parasol and fanning herself. I am the guardian of this place, she remarks languidly. You may not pass. But can I offer you a cup of... Uh... Armillariadia? Armillaria tea? Anyway. Armillaria. Armillaria? That's not one of the poisonous ones, is it? You're pretty sure it's not. Sure, what could go wrong by dining with the Deviless? Terror in a tea gown? No doubt she'd be much less pleasant if you tried to break down that gate. But just now, she's a courteous, soft-voiced woman in a tea gown. The tea is hot and nutty and rather pleasant. She asks about your voyages. 
She's desperate for news of London, of its mists, its nights, its sick, its poor, its fires. She tactfully turns aside questions about the convention, but she shares some of the secrets of the Neath. Come and see me again, she says. Next time you're here, she shrugs gracefully. Bring me a present if you'd like. Your encounters with a wistful devilish quality is now 20. Ooh, that's very high. It went from 1 to 20. Bring me a present, if you like. What the heck kind of present would she like? I have no idea. Okay, back to London. Should I just cut right across here? Suppose I could. Let's do it. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Station 3 is a long way to the southwest. Right, I've never been there, and I still have the Sooth and Cooper, not Sooth and Copper, the Sooth and Cooper box that I purchased with my secrets at Aram. Yes. Let's go deliver that. I believe this is it right here. Mm hmm. I'm gonna have so many friggin' port reports. Like, somewhere between half a dozen and a dozen. Well, let's get a port report. Deliver the long box. So I've done this before. For the most part, I'm not gonna read this. Up a twisting scare staircase. I'm not gonna break into the warehouse. Well, I do actually have an 88% chance of success. Nah, I don't want to break in. Just carry the box on. I failed. I think I actually failed last time I tried this, didn't I? You just gain a bit of terror, it's no big deal. There she is. Apologize, she doesn't really care. Once again, let's follow because we're curious. Just, uh, watch. Yep, so they took the box, gained a secret. Now I have a bit of the Acolyte's favor. And I can do errands for her. Guard the yard. Very good chance of succeeding with that one, thanks to my mirror's quality. Um, sure. Let's do it. Up to five. Yep, five reputation, gain three. And that's it. Woo. This is new. Scavenger of dark scavengers of dark matter. They move stealthily in the dark. They haven't noticed you yet. Right, so I'm watching the yard and I guess I'm some people are skulking about. 93% chance or 92? Watch or challenge? Hmm. Well, I'm supposed to be essentially the guard dog, so... But then again, mirrors is what I'm really good at. I'm gonna do mirrors. 
I succeeded. Excellent. Sing song and Bishoprix. I have no idea what that means. They're singing to themselves and carrying lenses of some sort. And they know enough to be looking through the most recent part of the pile. It's plain someone's tipped them off about a particularly juicy scandal that has just lately been discarded. From the whispers in the dark, you even have some idea what it is. A bishopric in the balance. A secret alliance with the Brass Embassy. Before they finish their search, you take them by surprise and send them scrambling. They even drop something in the process. Ooh. Some supplies and a sack of dark drop coffee beans. Cool. Also, I believe a recent patch actually made it so you can... I don't know how to do it. But I think a recent patch made it so you can actually consume Dark Drop Coffee Beans. And it, it does something to your crew. I don't remember what. But you can use it to help yourself. But of course, it, it does have drawbacks. It's not all good. Kind of like throwing a barrel of fuel into the, the engines. It makes you faster, sure, but your engine might explode. As I certainly experienced at the end of my last life. Well, can't avoid it. Fuck off! Ooh, hello. The chili floor is still following me. Let's go kill this auroral megalops. Just for the reduction in terror, if nothing else. Oh no! Son of a bitch! That jelly floor is coming for me. Okay, at this point there truly is no point in leaving my light on, because it is going to reduce my terror down to 50 when I get back to London, so... Yeah. I feel like I've been away from London for years. lot to do. A breath of relief. Take away my terror. Thank you. Collect some messages. A heck of a lot to do. Let's... Okay, so I'm not going to hire a cook right now because I want to hire the cook from Vendorbite. The rather pricey one. Because he's probably a damn good cook. So I'm just going to leave that space open, which means I want to just hire Zaylor. Come aboard! 
There we go, back up to 10. Let's turn in my trade thing. What? He just gave me 1,000 Echo. I thought... I thought it was 700. That is what I have written down, right? Yeah. 7 Zoop for 700 Echo. And then 1,000 Echo for 7 Muter Salt. I mean, I'm not going to complain, but that makes my profit margin go from 210 to... I guess 210 plus 300? So, 510? That's really, really good. And now I have precisely 1500, which is a very pretty number. Alright. Want to check out what he wants later? For now, let's continue the main quest? Or should I turn on my port reports? Let's turn on my port reports. Oh yeah, we have a great move in the game. Let's do that. 30 echo, a little bit more favor. <laughs> I'm going to occupy him all day. I'm just going to dump like 200 pounds of reports onto his desk. Just thump. Have fun. Yeah, look at these. Oh my freaking god. Hunter's Keep. Mount Bomberston. Port Cecil. I'm just quickly scanning this for anything particularly interesting. Mostly normal stuff. A little bit of fuel, a little bit of favor, a little bit of echo. I just realized I've been, I haven't been reading the text from the Admiral about the new places that I've never turned in port reports for. I probably should. The Chapel of Lights. There's something about the Untersee that breeds heresy and dissent. I rather think we might need to send the Bishop of Southwark out for a good bit of Christian shouting. <laughs> Christian shouting. Is that like in his job description? Like he's the official Christian shouter? Avid Horizon. I hope you intend to tell me that everything is quiet there. Uh, yes. I don't even remember the place. Frostbound. Already done that before. Estival, that's new. I'd always wondered if it might be a myth. It's not. It is not a myth, and it is beautiful. Whoa! What? Oh, I have no more room! Shit. Well, I guess I'm dumping the fuel. Okay, let's not turn in the very last port report. Because I won't be able to fit the fuel. Yeah, I actually just gained a significant amount of echo just from turning in so many. I was at 1500, now I'm at 1895. That's 295 echo. Nice. Okay, let's continue the main quest, because I think that's going to use up my Scintillac, which will give me some more room. Yeah. Yeah, she does require the Scintillac for her tonics. That's why I thought it was a plant or something. Your father's last voyage took him to Visage. Have you been to Visage? Each Visager has a mask and a role. The assigner of Corpse's role is to dispose of foreign cadavers. I am certain he will know where your father lies. You can hear the smile in her voice. Find the assigner, and find your father. As you bid her goodbye, she coughs. You can feel the air tighten. You can sense her attention on you. One more thing. Your father owed me a debt. I have, you see, an additional interest in the disposition of his bones and his belongings. I hope you'll be frank with me when you return. Hush. Say nothing now. Think on it. Well, it makes sense. I mean, why would she do all this for free? Seek a visage somewhere in the south of the Z. It's probably written down for me, but just in case, I'm going to write myself a note. Visage to the south. 
I don't believe I've been there. Have I? Nope. Okay. Should have room. Yep. 39 out of 40. Um, yeah, let's turn in the last port report. This is about Aram. Oh god, oh god. What tense is it written in? Oh god, look, just read it to my colleague here. She'll give you your fee. I'll be over there when you're done. Wait, what? What tense is it written in? I don't know what the hell he's, he's talking about, but I do remember when I wrote my report for Aram, it was very strange. Didn't it talk about how, I, like, I wasn't sure if I had even written it, but somehow it was just... It just, like, showed up already written? There's something strange about it. Alright, let's ask what he needs. Was there anything in particular he needed? Hmm, not sure. Anyway, um, I think that might be it for here. Let's read the morning paper. Let's see what other trade goods I can deal in. So, okay, still Muter Salt. Or Devilbone Dice. I just saw those. Yeah, I think I can purchase those at Mount Palmerston. Exactly where I got the Zoop, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it even says. They sell these in Mount Palmerston somewhere in the north of the Untersee. 500 for 7 barrels of the things. You won't find a better price. 500. Hmm. Not great, but uh, it is something. And who knows, when he says 500, he might mean 700 or 1,000. I don't exactly trust the accuracy of that anymore. Alright, so 7... Seven, what were these, Devil Bone? Yep. Devil Bone. Four, five hundred. Or some more meter salt. They harvested and wither to the north along the coast. I've already been to wither, but I don't remember the meter salt. Maybe that, you know, I think that was a place that actually sold the meter salt for other things than money. I think they wanted, like, stories for it or something, right? I think so. They traded in Tales of Terror or Visions of the Surface or something like that. It was something weird like that. I think that's why I didn't buy it. Ooh! Also, let me look for Foxfire Candles and Flares. Because I need that for going into the basement in Nuncio. Candles are 40 each. Flare is 10. Okay, I needed 5 candles. Hmm. It's kind of expensive. That's like 200 echo. That's like around 200 echo for all that stuff. That's pretty damn expensive. I don't think I want to pay that right now. I think I want to just keep collecting money because I really want to buy a new ship. This thing is so weak. So I think I want to just keep doing trade stuff. Yeah. How many secrets do I have now? Ooh, I have ten secrets. Do you know what that means? That means I can now go to Aram and get the Judgment's Egg. Which will continue the Irrepressible Cannoneer's quest, and next thing I need to take it to is uh, the Iron Republic. So I need to go to the Iron Republic with the egg. Okay. So big things that I want to do next episode. Fulfill the trade, either at Mount Palmerston with the Devil Bone Dice, or at Wither with the Muter Salt. And I want to go to Aram and get a Judgment's Egg. Which means I guess I'm just going to be going back over places that I've already been to. 
But that's perfectly fine. I'm trying to think. Like, do I just want to get this stuff for Nuncio and just get it over with? Because I'm going to be in the area anyway. Do I want to just get the flare and the Foxfire candles? I am going to be around there. Maybe I should. Do I even have room for it, though? Like, I don't have, I don't have any free hold space, do I? I don't. Nah. I'm not, I'm not going to dump a bunch of fuel just to make room for that. Nah. I do want to repair my hole, actually. Because I've got tons of favor. So, yeah, let's cash in some of the favor for repairing my hole, because it's a little bit low. Mostly from stupid jilly floor. I think. Maybe some crabs, I'm not sure. Mm, dry dock. Here we go. Three favor, 25 echo. And everything is perfect. Okay, so I think I'm going to end this episode here. And like I said before, in the last in the next episode, I'm going to head up to probably Wither, I guess, to see if I can get some Muter Salt, but I feel like I'm probably going to end up just buying the Devil Bone Dice at Mount Palmerston. Then head over to Aram, get the Judgment's Egg, and then hopefully make it back and then go down to the Iron Republic. I don't know if I can do that in one episode, because that's a long way to go. All the way around there, and then all the way back. I might be able to, though, because I'm not... I don't think I'm going to be stopping at any new place, so I think I'm just going to be going to a place just kind of do a port report, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, we'll see what happens. And the end goal? Well, I guess the ultimate end goal is to complete the game in some way, but kind of my end... my Let's say my medium-term goal. My short-term goal is to do the trade routes and stuff like that. My long-term goal is to retire by the seaside or return my father's bones or some sort of an ending, but my medium-term goal is to buy... This beautiful, sexy ship. 200 whole hit points. And support for two normal guns. This thing is beautiful. Oh. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And I'll be back soon.